Hey YouTube, Well Done RC. We're back out here in the RC shop. We got another package in today. We are going to be unboxing the FMS Crawler FX or FCX24 Power Wagon. So let me get set up here and uh, we're going to do an unboxing here. Now we've got the owner's manual here. Shouldn't have to so read through this. So which one will we get? Will we get the red? Oh, this we one got the blue one. Oh! So, so it looks like it's got red. some stuff we got to put together there. That's cool. Oh, it's a cool little truck. It's just as heavy as the other one. The... Put it back over there. Uh -oh. And it's got the same clips on the bottom for you to take the body off. I think. Maybe they go the other way. Or something. Hmm. Got a little snorkel on there. That's cool. so cool. This thing's being a little pain to get off of here. Let me make sure there's nothing holding it in place here. Oh, it's so exciting. And it's also got the four link suspension on it. So it's going to be. Pretty good on the crawling as well, I hope. Let's see, how does this thing attach here? It looks like it's got a couple screws in it. With light wind. Yeah, it looks like it's got a couple screws right up front here. And slide with these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a pain every time you get to change the battery, I guess. There. This is my one to fly this thing. Without the battery, you can still slide it. Just open the wings up and let it lie. Oh, so that was for the bumper. Okay, so that is just for the bumper. Those screws, yeah, it should come apart with those little clips right there. So we'll put that bumper back on there. I like the little wagon wheels that's on here. Those look pretty neat. That's definitely old school style. <coughs> Did you see that, Dad? Somehow. Oh, man. Okay, there we go. Yep. So it, the body comes off just like the other one. You got a nice little radio here. Looks like this one's got a two speed transmission as well. Oh, but I don't think that I've got any more triple A's. Might have to pull them out of the other radio. So 
So that's cool. Looks like we got some stuff to build up on the back of that thing. So let's get this out the way. battery out and we'll get that thing on the charge. We'll get that charging up while we set this thing up here. Let me grab these other batteries. Um, hey Bo! Hey, do you see a pop off yet four triple A's? See if he's got some batteries in here. All right, let's see what we got in this bag here. Got a spare tire. Got the sticker kit for the decals. Charger, wheel tool, some more decals. Looks like we got some little O rings for something or other. Let's take a scan through this book real quick and see what all this is here. Axles, 24 ball bearing, full set. Metal gear steering servo, that's awesome. Okay, so we got a little rack that we got to put on the back. Just kind of skimming through this stuff here. Okay, here's the roll cage installation. A whole box. Oh, yeah? A whole box. Nice. All right. They're so gray. Those are double A's. Oh. I need mean, triple A's. I told you I said triple A's. Okay. We're going to see if we got some triple A's in there. <coughs> okay. So, let's get this out of the package here and we will start to put this back rack on. Oh, this is a cool little truck, man. I like these wagon wheels, real thin. Look like definitely old school setup here. And that looks like we got some shock uh, stiffeners. And then we got a couple little parts here, a little bit of screws. So that's probably what attaches all this, maybe. That's going to go in the back of that, or maybe it goes right there in the back. This attaches here, and this attaches up here. It might screw into that. Yep, we got some little, little screw attachments there. Awesome. Okay, so. Pull these little baby screws out and hopefully we don't lose them. We'll put them over here. Well, let me get my little screwdriver. Dad? Yes, sir? Time can I be the big tank? We'll see, dude, when we get to that. We're doing this one right now. Yeah, I'll leave those some little bitty screws, man. Hopefully my fingers will, will work for these. If those even go there, let's see. One point two times three screws, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
So let's get another tool here. Get the hemostats. See if I can grab that thing. Get that thing to set up there. Yeah, it's not going to work very really good for me. Okay, so that's not going to do it for me. I need something a little finer. Here, let's pull these off first and we'll see what we can do with them individual up here. So the headache rack is going to go tilted forward. Right? That's what it looks like. It's going to go forward, so... It's going to be hard to find that thing. It's a little black one. It should be down here somewhere. <clears throat> okay, so let's grab this other one here. Let's try again. Let's do it over this. for the fuel tank, so that's what that little piece is right there, I guess. And that's supposed to have a screw too. We'll uh -huh. move on. Keep it going. Yeah. 
You didn't bring me a bag back, bud. Hey. Here, hold on before you break it. Grab it for the picks. Yeah, see so if you can grab that screw with that. Hey bud, go grab me a, let's see, spare tire set, so that's going to go on those poles right there, like so, right there, okay. so let's attach that bad boy. Come on, fingers. Try not to make this so boring, guys. But sometimes this is a process to get these things all fitted right. We're going to use a little bit bigger screwdriver because that one is not quite doing what I need it to. Okay, this one, yeah, it's working way better. the wheel yeah man since my accident man this this hand just doesn't want to work right well it's still got a little bit to go okay so it should get a little snugger than that there we go now I tightened up so there's a spare tire are you finding the screw, bud? Is it right there? Yeah. It should be right here. Then again, it might not be metal, so it might not attach to that thing. All right, well, I'm gonna find this screw and I'll be back. All right, we found the screw. We got that thing mounted on there now it looks like this little nozzle had so should have had a screw as well but we don't find one so we're just going to glue it in place Set up for a second. And it showed that this just snaps together there, but it doesn't hold either. So we're going to use a little more glue and glue this thing together. A little bit there, a little bit over here. Set off for a minute. Go ahead and attach our spare wheel here. It just snaps into place. Okay, maybe I got that one upside down. Yeah, 
Oh, it's upside down. Okay. So we got our spare wheel on. It's going to attach in the back right there. Boom. Boom. Okay, there's that. And then we did have some double side tape here. And that's supposed to go to the bottom of the fuel tank right here. Peel it off, get that set up. that on the top of there, wipe away the excess, alright, now that attaches to there, I should have probably put that on there first, so we'll kick this back out here, this down and we'll put that roll cage on. And I'm supposed to just attach right in here. I believe because that sets right down on there. this roll cage down here. Snap, snap. Oh yeah. That's a cool little truck. It looks like we have got headlights. Decals. Louisiana plates. These look like just stickers, so we can stick them on later. Got the power wagon stickers. It's the tools. Set these aside. These little O rings, these must be replacement O rings. So we won't worry about those. Whenever that battery gets charged, well, <coughs> let's see. We got power wagon on each side of that. A Doug truck. Doug. This looks like water, water decals, <coughs> excuse me, well, alright you guys, that's pretty much it on this, other than putting the batteries in, it takes four triple A's, Uh, 
Log boost. Locking in. Turn it on. We got juice. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, well, uh, that's the unbox of the FMS power wagon crawler. So please like, subscribe, share, leave me some great comments. I will have my description or my link for FMS in the description below if you want to help support my channel. And uh, just buy whatever you want to buy. If you want to pick this truck up or you want to pick up the other little truck over there. The little smasher monster truck. You can get both of those through my link. It won't cost you any extra. But until next time, this is Will Dunn RC, signing out.